everything. Hey guys, I get asked quite often, uh, strangely enough, what is the worst part of being a developer? And I can tell you what the worst part is for me. I don't think this is going to be uh, a mind-blowing statement. Um, I think uh, it's going to be a personal choice more than anything else. Like, what bothers you about being a developer? I don't think there's like a universal thing. But for me, it is clients. Uh, so, uh, and that's kind of a weird thing to say because the way that we get paid is through our clients, right? So whether you're doing freelance or whether you're working for a company, that company has clients. And the reason I say that is because um, it's sort of this, the customer is always right mentality sometimes at, as a developer. And whether you're working by yourself or you're working on a team is you can kind of let your voice be known, right? Say, hey, I think, I think this idea you have uh, the way that you want it to be executed isn't going to work. You can have you can have that conversation, and it may be received or it may not. But if it's not, remember this is their this is their brainchild. A lot of times, this is their baby, right? It could be a, a website for a business, it could be a web application that they finally got a developer to make. It could be anything. But they're they're the architect at the end of the day. They're their vision, and sometimes the vision, the practicality of how things line up, you have to kind of explain it to them, and sometimes they accept it. And sometimes they don't. I've been in a lot of situations where, as a developer, I knew something was going to fail uh, in terms of um, not the overall project, but the feature. I was, like the I knew the weaknesses, and I made it known, or you know, my boss made it known, or uh, other people made it known. And uh, you knew very well that three to six months down the line, you're going to be having a conversation with your client, and they're going to be like, "Oh, I actually need you to change this thing that you just spent a month on." Uh, and that's fine. That's business at the end of the day. But, uh, you know, as, as developers, we want to do what we know works best. And sometimes you just have to say, look, you're the client, you're paying us and I'll do what you want. And maybe you'll prove me wrong, but I'm the developer and I'm telling you, it's a bad idea how you want this structured. And so clients for me have always been the uh, main issue. And that, that goes back to when I was freelancing, right? So um, not that I have any bad clients now or anything as a developer. I have, but there's there's more of a kind of a like the, the, the customer is always right, I guess is the easiest way to put it. And when the customer is always right and the customer is paying you, you do what the customer asks, whether you agree with it or not. Um, but I've had bad clients also in the past where... Uh, They've argued with me about prices and things like that. Or, uh, you know, I had one guy, um, I was working with his girlfriend a while back, and uh, I was doing freelance for them for a relatively cheap rate at that time. I started at $15. I moved up to $20 an hour freelancing for them. And um, I, the first time I ever met her boyfriend, who owned the company, it was a luxury furniture company, rental furniture rental company. Uh, he for about three to five minutes yelled at me for not getting enough stuff done on uh, on the amount of hours I gave him, which was only about eight hours of work. And uh, I asked him very briefly, I was like, oh, okay, so how much web development do you know? <laughs> and he didn't like that at all, which is a smart-ass thing to say, uh, by the way. Um, but uh, That's my wonderful girlfriend back there. I don't know if everybody heard that. But uh, with that being said, um, the sort of stepping out of line and screaming, like legit screaming at me was uh, pretty unappreciated. I actually quit that job that day. Um, the um, girlfriend offered to hire me back at a higher rate and I declined. Uh, well, I didn't really decline. I said, sure. And then I added about 40% on. So she offered to hire me back at $25 an hour. I said, because this guy upset me, I was like, uh, I'm going to need $35 an hour if you want me. And that was too much. And uh, I didn't really want the work at that point. But that I, I had, that's one of probably about three or four bad experience stories I could tell you. But I guess the moral of the story is, forget the fact that for me, the worst part about web development is clients. Because I like to think of myself as a purist. I like learning, right? In a perfect world, I'd be making tutorials and doing projects and doing my own thing, right? Not necessarily working for somebody, but doing my own projects, my own passion things where like I can make mistakes on my own, right? Instead of making mistakes that they choose, right? Um, but I think, uh, I think when talking about what's the worst part about web development, uh, I don't really 
mind the clients because it's just part of the world. And I think um, there's not like a single thing that stands out. I just wanted to kind of share that with you is that being a web developer and being a developer in general, there's always going to be with any job, those rough days, those days where you're going to be like, yo, man, all of a sudden this isn't as much fun as it used to be. Uh, it's just part of the process. And for me, as with clients, it, it probably will be something uh, different for you. It's going to be different for everybody. But um, it's very minute. Like I would say, and if a typical job, you hate your job every other day. I don't know if that's a fair statement. I think most people probably... I, I read a statistic that said something like 80% of people hate their job. Hate. That's the word. <laughs> uh, hate their job. Uh, but I would say that of all the developers I know, most love their job and like their job and are very happy. And that could be a combination of being intellectually stimulated or it could be a combination of being well paid, you know, when you're making good money and you can afford stuff, food, and you can afford housing and things like that. That's another thing to keep you happy. Um, not that money makes you happy, but I've said this before, that money may, money may not equal happiness, but I do believe poverty makes you sad. And so uh, that's one thing. But uh, I, everyone's going to find a little thing that they don't enjoy fully doing. Mine is uh, interacting with clients. Yours may uh, be unit testing. It could be something much more technical. But at the end of the day, don't, don't be afraid that you don't enjoy everything. It's okay. It's natural. Everyone's going to have things that they lean to. I, I love diving into new things and trying new things and building tutorials. I do, I, I do some of that. But it, at work you have to do things that you may not choose to do in, in terms of the tech space, right? Like setting up projects is probably number two for me. Like having to set up in development environments and going through all the loops and hooks to just get ready to code is probably the number two thing I hate most. But yeah, that's my two cents. As always, guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll answer them in the next Ask a Dev section. Don't forget to join our Facebook group, Code Tech and Caffeine. The link to that is in the description and support me at patreon.com slash Code Tutorials 360. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in coding bootcamp, check out devmountain.com where housing is included in your price of tuition. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share and support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.